Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Kyle of Chase and Makes. Thanks for joining me. Uh, this is my living room. My uh, wife's on a business trip and it's Friday. It's my day off. I'm bored. I uh, can't go into the shop because I got to watch our sick dog. Uh, so I'm just hanging out at the house and I thought, you know what? What better thing to do than sculpt? Uh, most people don't sculpt in the living room, I understand. Uh, but what I do is I take apart old electronics, microwaves, uh, dishwashers, hair dryers, computers, I mean hundreds of different things. Um, I take them down to their base components, you know, motors and hard drives and screws and nuts and bolts, and I kind of turn them into like pretty cool, what I think is pretty cool, uh, sculptures. So I kind of re-envision and reimagine these things. Um, so let me give you a couple examples of the kind of things I've made, and um, I'm just going to kind of take you through the process, the creative process, maybe do some time lapses. Um, and just, you know, show you the whole process of, of sculpting and like creating and just my creative mind and you know, we'll just see kind of where it goes today. All right, cool, stick around, thanks. This is uh, what I imagine as like a moon base. Robot guys, kind of cute, huh? Yeah, they're fun. Um, so yeah, I just like to make these kind of worlds inside, you know, of another world. It's cool, like this is a little communications array, power bank, and then uh, of course, Every moon needs a freaking laser. I was channeling Star Wars Cloud City. A fan base, um, different parts, uh, go-kart, clutch, uh, off of a bike, the gearing, fan blades, I mean, you name it. Uh, motors, other motors, you know, little spinny guy. Um, this would be good for like an entryway, you know, so it's like functional art. So you can put this in your entryway on a nice cool t little table, throw your keys up in here, you know, throw your mail in, put different things hang different things on here, like hang your keys. Um, yeah, we'll just see where it goes today, you know, see what we can do. Thanks for tuning in. One more thing I should probably let you guys know is that, yeah, we live in a one bedroom apartment uh, in Washington, D.C. It's small, it's under a thousand square feet. So this kind of, you know, complicates the space that we have to build things, to store things. Um, sorry for the mess, you know, I'm sorry. All right, so I'm gonna start tearing these things apart, tearing these bags open, boxes open. Um, I like to kind of display everything, because this is kind of how I work. You know, I like to see like big stuff over here, small stuff over there. It's kind of like Legos. It's like, the way I describe it to people is like, it's adult Legos. Um, there's no instructions. It's just free form, you know? I have thousands, thousands of pieces of electronics. See what goes together, see what fits. Um, see what could be fun, maybe a little epoxy here, a little super glue there, CA glue. Um, so yeah, let me change up the angle. I'll kind of show you where I put everything and let's let's just have fun. Look how cool that is. These like extruded aluminum pieces are just amazing. They're so cool, all this technology, the sound it makes, like I just love everything about it. All right, here we go. Cool. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let's tear into some of these uh, bins and uh, see what we got. I know I try to organize them by what they are, or shape or function or something. So how beautiful are these, man? Oh, just are gorgeous with the different color wires. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack from people about tearing all these electronics apart, but hey. Better hear them the dump, right? Better to, to uh, you know, be something now than just sit and rot for a million years.
right? They don't recycle them properly. There's a place to take your old computers to recycle them. It's not just a fucking trash. Let's be honest, probably a moon laser. What else are they gonna be? I love moon lasers. I try to build everything like space themed. I'm obsessed with like 1950s and 60s uh, space sci fi. It doesn't take many tools to do this kind of sculpture work. You know, a couple of pinchy things, and a couple of screwy things, and that's it. So I like to be able to, you know, see the drill when it's something else. Um, so adding things on, subtracting things. I just, it's so freaking cool. Um, I have kind of an idea here. In my head at this point, I'm thinking, is this going to be the front or the end? It's kind of cool, like a like a ramjet. I mean, look at that profile. It's like, it's got these things that look like Cylons. I don't know, it could be like a really cool, you know, spaceship. Well, Frodo Baggins on me. Frodo, Frodo Baggins. Okay. The good thing about these little anchors too is they can always turn into like, you know, you gotta think about like how is it gonna sit? Is it just gonna like sit on a desk? Or is it gonna be displayed, hung? You know, how is this thing gonna work? It's all part of the procedure process. I was gonna buy epoxy and super glue. Super glue is kind of shitty because you put it on plastic and it turns white, and then like, and then what? You know, it like hardens into like this like impenetrable surface, and it's white. It just looks awful. You try to scratch it off, and it just stays white and scratches. Uh, I was gonna buy epoxy, but the thing I don't like about epoxy is like, there's no squeeze applicator. I wish epoxy you could, you know, I guess you could get that one that spirals and puts it into one. But I found this stuff here for like half the price of both of those combined that I was gonna buy. Loctite go-to glue, obviously not a sponsored video since like 40 people see these things. Um, but yeah, it's crystal clear, durable, or it's repositionable five minutes. It's cures in 30. I figured it could be kind of cool. You know, I like to drop some glue into some joints um, where I don't want like springs to shift or plastic, you know, plastic pieces or even steel pieces like this. I'm gonna wanna put like the sh shielding on the side. So, all right, I'm gonna finish the salad and um, we're gonna glue some stuff on and make this thing look not like a drill anymore. So, check it out. This is Abigail, hi baby. Hi baby, oh yeah, she's very tired. She's been uh, sick. Had to get a blood transfusion. Yeah, but she still loves belly rubs. All right, I've been trying to get this glue to chooch for like an hour. Did should have set up by now. This effing sucks, man. But it turns like rubbery, you know, for like over an hour. So I'm returning it to the hardware store. I'm getting my eight bucks back. I'm just gonna go with regular epoxy. So I'll be back once I get that. And then this project should go so much faster. Five minute epoxy. Set up, sets up real quick. Ah, oh, so much faster. Be back. All right, got the epoxy. Heading home. Okay, man. There's gonna be some really pissed off tool geeks out there that are like, "You took a drill from that time and you made it into a spaceship."
Look, a do-it-yourself drying kit. A sculpture drying on a sculpture. Simple. All right, it's getting late in the afternoon now. I've been working on this thing all day, all day long. I think I'm just about done. You know, take a look. Here it is. And I built this base, right, out of some of the gears from the drill, which is even cooler. So I think that's pretty sweet. It can spin, it can hold, you know, it can sit on someone's desk. That's also one of the most important parts of this is, you know, how is it going to function in life? So now, using parts from the original drill, I was able to kind of reimagine them in a, in a different way. And um, we have our spaceship. I think it looks pretty sweet, man, cruising through. I'm just uh, taking my file here, and I'm roughing things up, trying to approximate, you know, the damage of space, uh, space dust, impacts, battles, you know, whatever your imagination wants. So you can see I've kind of given those top black fins some age, some wear. The spacecraft is complete. There's always more you can do to things, but you know, at some point you just gotta stop and, and take a step back. I might work on this again another month or two, or you know, I'll just never touch it, and it'll just be what it is from an old power drill into a spacecraft. All right, thanks guys for sticking around and hanging out um, as I kind of went through this creative process. You know, leave your uh, comments down below. Um, please like and uh, share the video if you can, if you want to show other people, you know, this kind of creative process. Um, and subscribe if you're not subscribed, it always helps out, um, allows me to bring more cool content like this, not just like redoing furniture and making other furniture, um, but you know, fun sculpture work. Uh, this is, it's all part of making, it's all part of creating. So, thanks guys, um, tune in next time. See ya.